Assalamualaikum and hi guys Hope you guys are safe and sound My name is Nordana Bentin I'm live from group 300 My title for the IOP presentation is Bandwagon Effect, how it can change your life Basically, what is Bandwagon Effect? Are you a bandwagon? In this video, I will explain to you guys How to use Bandwagon Effect Also known Bandwagon Bias To improve your life We all know that 1% who suddenly support the popular and winning sport team Out of nowhere or the one person that follows all the latest fashion trend. We call those people bandwagons. Basically, the bandwagon effect is where people do something because other people do it while discarding their belief in the process. The more popular it is, the higher the chance of people joining to do it. The most current bandwagon effect that all of you can relate is TikTok application. Users from talking back about TikTok before, but then turn into TikToker during this movement control order. In fashion, it will be used to buy hijab from night market with 10 ringgit but then suddenly started buying a brand hijab with 100 ringgit once they were trendy. We all have tendency to conform so we start following the actions or belief of others. But when you are accused of being a bandwagon, it appears as a disrespectful term. However, in this video, you are going to learn how to use the bandwagon effect to positively impact your life. Before we get into how we can use this to improve your life, let's get into the origins. A bandwagon is a wagon that carries a band during the parade. It encourages people to jump on board and enjoy the music. The positive and fun vibe ensure a lot of people will jump on. Thus, the phrase, jump on a bandwagon, first appears in American politics in 1848 when Dan Rice, a famous and popular circus clown of that time, used his bandwagon and its music to attract attention for his political campaign appearances. As his campaign became more successful, other politicians straw for a seat on the bandwagon, like, yo, let me hop on too. They were hoping to be associated with his success. Jump on that bandwagon became a derogatory term around 1900. It implied that people were associating themselves with success without considering that with which they associated themselves. Here a hard hitting truth. It doesn't matter how smart you are or how style you are, which skill you have, where you are born or which family you came from, all that counts if you want to be successful in life is the people you surround yourself with. Can you see where this is going? You can consider the bandwagon effect within a group context as a herd mentality or a group thing. This means that you align your belief and behavior to the group even if it is against your belief. This happens because we are so dramatically affected by those around us. You probably heard this quote before from Jim Rohn, which you are the average of the five people you spend the most time. Sound familiar, right? If you surround with motivated people, you will be motivated. But if you surround yourself with lazy people, you will be lazy. Simple as that. This stuff is powerful. If you put a lazy and unmotivated person in a group full of highly motivated people, the lazy person will become a lot more motivated. When you surround yourself with people who settle for less, once you jump on their bandwagon, you will settle down there. You subconsciously associate yourself with what that could stand for. You need to form a pool of people who are motivated and push each other to succeed and be better. Since we are living in the age of social media, there is no longer a limitation based on where you live or by luck. Reach out to people through online and form a community. Plan wise opinions, attitudes and life philosophies that you all allow in your life. Some traits that I like are motivated, positive thinking, productive and supportive. Now that's a bandwagon I would like to jump on. Pro tip here, try to get a mentor if you can so that person can help you as much as a group or even more but you have to remember by surround yourself with positive vibe it is necessary to have a critic positive feedback is great but negative feedback will help you make progress one more thing if your circle is not up to your standard don't just cut them from your life you can spend less time with them but don't cut them unless there is a serious problem happening it is fine to meet and treat them as acquaintances or friends. They don't have to be your close friends or people you truly spending time with. Now is your choice to choose a bandwagon that we're jumping on. You have long way to go. Nothing can change unless you yourself do it. Make use of it to improve your life, become more healthier, happy and successful. That's all from me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for listening. Bye!